Today on WFMS, we have some updates about cheer and dance. The weekend weather outlook is coming your way, so you can make plans for your weekend. Baseball is in full swing, and we have a game coming up. Don't forget about our game room club on Monday. FCA and TFC will meet next week. And you guessed it, we have another yearbook sale update, and they're going fast, so stay tuned. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All board admirals, thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Hannah. And I'm Catherine. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for some quick announcements. FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, meets every Tuesday from 7.50 until 8.20 in the Studio Theater. There will be games, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. TFC, Teens for Christ, will meet every Wednesday from 7.50 until 8.20 in the Studio Theater. There will be games, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. Do you like to hang out with your friends after school and play board games like Yahtzee, Battleship, and Pictionary? Then the Game, Ro Game Room Club is for you. Come alone or bring a friend to room 102 in Silver Pod on Mondays from 3.45 to 4.30. The FMS Math Counts team recently placed first in the Math Counts Knoxville Chapter competition and will advance to the state competition. The members of the team are Ruhan Singh, Steven Zhao, Sylvia Lin, and Yan Peng Tan. Congratulations to these students and good luck at the state competition later this month. Are you hoping to get a yearbook this year? We now have less than 15 available for purchase and that number is getting lower every day. If you're not sure if you bought one already, check the list posted in the hallway leading to the cafeteria. Once we sell it there, there will be no more left. Links to order the yearbook can be found on the FMS website. There will also be a link in Mr. Edmonds' weekly parent emails to parents, so make sure they are aware as well. Again, the only way to guarantee a yearbook is to pre-order. Don't forget that today is Spirit Friday. We combined last week's hat and jersey theme with this week's flannel theme. Please remember to pay your $1 donation that is required to wear a hat and jersey today. The Honor Society is taking the donations and they will go to Tennessee Kids Belong. That's it for announcements. Now for a weekend weather update. Hi, I'm Danan. And I'm Ayla. Now for our weekend weather update. How about this spring-like weather? Enjoy it because we'll go from the 70s today to bitter cold and snow in less than 24 hours. Today is your day to get out and enjoy your afternoon and early evening because it will be changing fast as the rains later will turn to snow. What can we expect for later tonight and the weekend? The next front drives in rain later tonight, but it quickly changes to sleet and then heavier snowfall by Saturday morning. There will be weather alerts, so pay attention to the weather updates tonight and tomorrow. Snowfall will be limiting visibility and potentially creating some slick spots due to the heavier morning bands. We'll have the most widespread heavier snowfall on Saturday morning, then scattered light to moderate snowfall midday, and becoming spotty in the mountains by the afternoon to evening. We will actually be stuck with the coldest day of the winter tomorrow. The official high will be closer to midnight when it's still lower 50s, but we'll still start Saturday in the upper 20s and only top out around 32 degrees. Unfortunately, the wind makes it feel even colder with a northerly breeze 10 to 20 miles per hour and gusts about 30 miles per hour. With some clearing, the very cold air settles in with a low around 16 degrees by Sunday morning. Sunshine and dry weather return Sunday, but high only makes it to 46 degrees. We will quickly warm up next week with the mostly dry weather and sunshine continuing for your spring break, so enjoy. That's it for weather. Bundle up and get out and enjoy what will probably be the, our last snow day of the school year. Stay safe and weather aware. Maybe plan for some time indoors Saturday and Sunday because changes come Monday. Have a great long spring break. Now for our sports brief. Hi, I'm Hadley. And I'm Jillian. Now for a quick sports brief. Cheerleading tryout clinic will be on April 19th through April 20th. Tryout day will be on April 21st. Please see flyers around the school for important dates and pick up packet from the front office if interested in FMS cheerleading. A mandatory parent meeting will occur virtually on Teams on Tuesday, March 29th at 5.30 p.m. Girls who are interested in joining the dance team, listen up! There will be a choreography video being released soon to prepare you for the tryouts that will be held on March 30th and 31st. We will get you more details as they are coming in, so stay tuned. FMS baseball fans, listen up. All baseball games have been canceled until spring break. 
Stay tuned after we return for the latest dates and time for upcoming games. We also want to update you on each of the baseball team's wins loss record to date. Our sixth grade team has four wins, no losses, and one tie. Our seventh grade has five wins, three losses, and our eighth grade team has two wins and two ties. All of our teams are off to, good, to a good start, and we hope you will be planning to attend the games and cheer them on for more wins. That's it for sports, short and sweet. Now have a great weekend. Now back to the news desk. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great weekend. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And lastly, we will see you on Monday the 21st. This next week is spring break. Happy, Happy spring, spring break! break.